Now let's talk about question number seven. What are chesmogamous flowers? Can cross pollination occurs in cleistogamous flowers? Give reason for your answer. So first of all, we should know that what are the chesmogamous flowers and what are cleistogamous flowers. So first of all, if we talk about the what is uh, chesmogamous flowers, chesmogamous flowers are the flowers which have exposed anthers, exposed anthers as well as exposed stigma into the environment because they opens up at their maturity. So these kind of flowers when they become mature, they will have exposed anthers and exposed stigmas into the environment. These flowers are known as chasmogamous flowers. Whereas if we talk about the cleistogamous flowers, cleistogamous flowers do not have exposed anthers and stigma into the environment because they do not open into, they do not open at all at their maturity. When they become mature, some flowers are there. When they become mature, they do not open at all. So cross pollination cannot occur in them because they do not open at all at their maturity. Hence, the anthers and stigma are not exposed into the environment. So, there is no chance of cross pollination can occur or take place into the cleistogamous flowers. Cleistogamous flowers will only have self pollination, whereas chesmogamous flowers always follow cross pollination. pollination. However, in cleistogamous flowers, seed production takes place and the seed production takes place with the help of self-pollination only. There are some plants which have both type of flowers in it, such as oxalis, viola. These are the example of some plants which constituting all two types of flowers on its single body of plant that is cleistogamous flowers and chesmogamous flowers. But why is it so? These plants consisting of two types of flowers on their body provides them cross pollination chances if, if they skip the chance of cross fertilization or cross pollination then they will produce seeds with self pollination for sure. So this is the answer that what is chesmogamous flowers and what is cleistogamous flowers and why do cross pollination is cross pollination can happen in cleistogamous flowers and if not then why the cleistogamous flowers cannot have cross pollination. So if you want to write the answer then first of all we will write what are chesmogamous flowers. So the chesmogamous chesmogamous flowers are the flowers with exposed with exposed anthers and stigma and stigma into environment into environment as they open up as they open up at their maturity at their maturity so chasmogamous flowers are the flowers which have exposed anthers and uh, stigma into the environment at their maturity whereas cleistogamous flowers whereas cleistogamous flowers cleistogamous flowers will not have will not have exposed anthers and stigma exposed anthers and stigma as they do not open up as they do not 
open up at their maturity when they do not open up their maturity their anthers and stigma will not expose into the envir environment so they do not open up at their maturity all right and because they do not open up at their maturity hence they do not have exposed anthers and stigma into the environment there is no chance no chance so therefore therefore they do not have they do not have do not have a chance of cross fertilization have a chance of cross fertilization cross fertilization or pollination or cross pollination however they produce a seed they however they produce a seed they produce seed they produce seed with the help of self pollination self pollination they will undergo self pollination to produce seeds because they are not having exposed anthers and stigma into the environment so there is no chance of cross fertilization or pollination in them so they will produce seed with the help of self pollination and this is the complete solution of question number 7